I've wanted to do underwater portrait photography for the longest time, and I haven't been able to do that at all. Oh, uh, what? Until now. Finally tonight, something magical is happening under the sea off the coast of Southern California. Whoa, oh my gosh. An ocean algae called phyloplankton that emits flashes of light when disturbed. Now, this is like, from my knowledge, pretty rare. Like this doesn't happen all the time. I went to my brother and I was like, you want to see if we can find some bioluminescence? Oh uh, yeah. Capturing something cool in the water would be really cool. I am skeptical because I don't see any, see the waves there. I don't see any luminescence. Straight up, it's just not here. Yeah, it's because I ate it all, sorry. <laughs> well, we can either go to Hunston Beach or call it quits. Give up, give up. No. <laughs> if we don't see anything here, we probably won't see anything else in beach either. Found them in Newport. 16 minutes, 16 ago. minutes ago. They said, found it in Newport. Oh, they said between 56 and 58. Let's go. We're running because we don't want to see it disappear. After about half an hour. So many people around here. Oh, yeah, I can see it. That's cool. That's so cool. It's very faint, but. It's very cool though. I have no idea how I would take photos of this, to be honest. It's extremely dark and I didn't bring the right lenses, of course. I ended up messaging an Instagram account called Blue Water Photo Store. The reason we have such good relationships with our manufacturers is that we do all the camera reviews for all these manufacturers. You definitely reached out to the right, <laughs> the right retailer. Okay, well let's do it. <laughs> would you want to come to the shoot? Yeah, no, I'd, I'd actually be really down. Uh, blue water photo. Yep, blue water photo. It's pretty Travel. official. Yeah. Yeah, nice. The actual dog fur is actually really bad for the underwater housing because it can get in the crack. And then okay. it'll pull water into the housing. That's the number one way that housings flood. It's usually either dog hair or people hair. <laughs> so this is just the body of the housing and this is what basically uh, you put your camera inside. The actual setup of like putting the cameras in the housings and everything like that actually took about two hours to do. There we go. One thing that we're gonna try is a flash prism right here. It sticks inside of a strobe. Now, there was actually a lot of information that Nero Palm like ended up kind of like bestowing upon me. I had to make sure that I did certain things to make sure like it wasn't going wrong or anything like that. And Go then on. you want to be careful about the stroke because it's not Oh no! Super you know how to use your regular camera and yeah, then yeah. this is just a different setup. Yeah, and like you have to uh, relearn how to use it in a way. With working with other brands, you obviously want to do a good job with working with them. So I felt like this kind of pressure to be able to get the best shot. If I didn't get a good shot, at least one good shot, it's going to make the brand look bad and they're not going to want to work with me in the future. So I, I really, I really wanted to get this right. I don't know how to use it like at all. Um, uh, so that's, uh, f The buttons and everything is like different from like actually just taking photos on your camera. Bro, this is actually, this is f***ing hard, like... <laughs> Unfortunately, Jordan's pool, the heating wasn't working. I felt bad for the model, uh, Casey, because she was wearing a dress that was like really like thin and stuff and it made her feel like really cold when she got in and she was like, okay, like when we're doing the shoot, we've got to do this like really quick. <laughs> this is really, really hard, like... <laughs> you're getting in and then you're like trying to get the exposure and everything and it's like... Man, it's like... <sighs> It's like learning a whole whole new skill. Like it's like I don't know how to take photos when I'm using this thing. The shot that I want to get, I don't want it to be like too flashy. Like I don't want it to look like it's flash photography so much. Come on, baby. I kind of want more natural lighting, which is kind of hard because we don't have that yeah. much lighting. All right, Casey, you ready? <laughs> okay. Trying to direct the model when the water is up to your face like this. Like, I'm just like To your right. <laughs> this way. <laughs> Sorry, this thing is like so big. I couldn't take photos with the lighting that I had, so I didn't know what to do. But then Omar comes in with this big ass light. Omar, thanks for making me feel insecure about my photography. I didn't do it. <laughs> Star filter looks crazy. That is ridiculous. Oh, bro. That is insane. I like the warm colors heat. All right, now let's do some more. Mm. 
wearing a suit and he's gonna be jumping in the water. He had a light like under his top, so it looked like his heart was kind of like glowing. So sick. <laughs> I think I'm pretty happy with that. I'm extremely cold right now. I can't even keep this camera straight. I wasn't really like focusing on the composition or anything. So I was just kind of like focusing on the fact that I was underwater and I just wanted to snap some photos. But that was a mistake because obviously just because you're underwater doesn't mean that the general principles of photography don't apply to you. Next time I would definitely focus more on the composition. Nirupalm from the Blue Water Photo Group really liked the photo. So that made me feel really good because I was kind of like, oh, I don't know about these photos. I think that they're okay, but are they good? And he really liked them. So also, if you haven't checked out my Lightroom presets on my LUTs, you can check them out in the description below. If you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you again. I'll catch you next time. Well. Why don't we go get some donuts at the donut store while we're there? Why are you trying to sound like you're an NPC or something? What?